A mulch ring around the base of a tree is more than just an aesthetic bit of landscaping. Mulch conserves soil moisture by limiting evaporation, moderates soil temperature, reduces soil compaction and erosion, and acts as a weed control. Mulches can be inorganic, such as stones, recycled rubber, or even fabrics, or organic, such as wood chips or bark pieces. Organic mulches are preferred. As the mulch decomposes, it increases the organic matter in the soil, stimulating microbial activity, aggregation, and nutrient availability for the tree. All turf and weeds should be carefully removed from around the tree before spreading the mulch. The mulch ring should cover as much of the root zone as possible, ideally from near the trunk out to the drip line. For new transplants, apply mulch over and beyond the root ball, at least three feet, one meter in diameter, around the trunk. While wider is better for applying mulch, the same can't be said for depth. Generally, only two to four inches, five to ten centimeters, is needed. Less than that can leave the soil more exposed to drying out. So in arid regions, using a deeper mulch layer can help slow evaporation, but too deep and the held moisture can lead to fungus growth and oxygen-restricted conditions in the soil. For the same reason, plastic sheeting or other impervious weed barriers should not be used under a mulch ring. It will hamper movement of water, trap the moisture that's there, and restrict oxygen flow to the soil. Mulch should be spread from the drip line to near but not touching the trunk or root flare. A 4-inch, 10-centimeter gap should be left between the trunk and mulch ring. Burying the trunk, creating a mulch volcano, is particularly bad. The piled-up mulch can lead to fungus growth and provide a habitat for insects or small mammals that may injure the trunk or root flare. Organic mulch does decompose over time, providing benefits to the soil and tree, but that does create the need for periodic replacement. The rate of decomposition and need for replacement depends on the size of the individual pieces of mulch, their composition, the climate, and how thick the layer of mulch is. For more information, check out Tree Planting Best Management Practices in the ISA Web Store.